Turns out not everybody in NASCAR likes a good hawk to a joke. Welcome back to Break Hard, I'm Matt. So apparently, not everybody, specifically one NASCAR team, isn't a fan of the Hawk Tua memes that have been going around the internet. Now, if you're not familiar with what the Hawk Tua meme is, because you're not on TikTok or not on Instagram Reels, it's this girl that's being interviewed in like a man on the street type of scenario, and she says, sometimes you just got a Hawk Tua spit on that thing, and that thing being exactly what you think it is, if you think it's something else, it's not. It's exactly what you think she's spitting on. Uh, here's the clip real quick. I give him that hook to and spit on that thing. So that has gone around the internet. And of course, the memes have been everywhere. And that did not stop one NASCAR social media manager from attempting to make a pretty funny joke at the end of the day. So JD Motorsports, obviously in the Xfinity series, a small underfunded team, the Flex Seal team from back in the day, they are running a two car operation with Armani Williams, as well as Garrett Smithley. So when practice and qualifying got rained out on Friday, because while well, it was spitting rain, their social media manager made a graphic and it's a picture of New Hampshire Motor Speedway and then the girl's face, the Hawk to a girl, and she's in the spitting motion because it was spitting rain at the track. So, you know, sometimes you got to hawk to it and spit on that thing. That's what she was doing, spitting on the racetrack. That's what was happening in the moment. Funny meme. He said then our drivers will start P34 and P36 or 8 or wherever they were starting at on Saturday. Okay, funny meme. Well, it turns out that Johnny Davis didn't exactly think it was very funny because Dorman, who was running the social media accounts, announced that he went out on top, as you can see right here, which is a really funny way of putting it because... Traditionally speaking, the Hawk Tua does have to be a thing performed on top. Now, it is possible to do it from the bottom. Gravity does work against you in a situation like that, but traditionally speaking, you know, on top here for the Hawk Tua. So Dorman says that he was removed from the social media account for JD Motorsports, and he said that it didn't align with the beliefs of the team, and that being Johnny Davis. Now, listen. I'm not going to sit here and pick a side. What I think Dorman did was 100% within the lines. I think that it's a funny meme. I think sometimes you have to take risks on the internet. Sometimes things just have to be done because they're funny. And then you just have to deal with the consequences after. Very much on board with that. I can see Johnny Davis' side of it, right? If he's like a God-fearing man or super religious and potentially doesn't like anything of that nature in terms of the acts that the Hawk to a girl is referring to, then yeah, maybe he doesn't want that to be a part of his social media account here. Now I will say that meme got them way more attention than they ever would have just posting that their drivers were starting back in the 30s. Yeah, no, that got them a ton of awareness, a ton of clicks, and a ton of people are like, okay, JD Motorsports out here actually doing something fun for once. Well, the social media manager was. So I think we stand with Dorman. I understand the Johnny Davis side of this thing, right? He runs a company. He doesn't necessarily want that to be the image of it okay that's fine it's a little old school way of thinking i don't necessarily agree with it i understand it don't agree with it but for Dorman's sake, I think it's very much inbounds for a play here. Sometimes you have to take risk, like I said. It reminds me of the old Ned Jarrett, Dale Earnhardt interview, where Ned says, is it worth it? And Dale just says, sure it is, if, it w if you win. It reminds me of the Ned Jarrett, Dale Earnhardt interview that kind of makes the rounds every now and then, where Ned says, is it worth the risk to keep going? And Dale says, sure, if you win, which I can 100% agree with right here. Is it worth the risk to post that meme out there and you know garner the attention that's going to come with it? Absolutely. It is 100% worth the risk because at the end of the day, if Johnny Davis, you know, wasn't a little bit uptight about this situation, and again, let me clarify, he can absolutely be, it's his team, it's his account, he can do anything he wants with the brand. It's good at the end of the day for business, garnered them a lot of attention. So now Dorman doesn't have to do the social media anymore. I assume he's staying on as the tire guy over at JD, but... I mean, at the end of the day, funny meme is funny meme. So good on them for taking a risk. Good on Dorman. Hopefully somebody hires them to run their social media because at the end of the day, like I said, it was funny and funny is funny. So if you want to make a hawk to a meme, go ahead and do it. Yeah, has it hasn't been played out. Am I tired of hearing this girl with her accent say hawk to a spit on that thing? Absolutely. I'm very tired of it. I'm tired of seeing the merch as well. Who's wearing the merch? Stop buying that. Don't ever buy that. It looks stupid. I get it. There's a bunch of college kids out there who make inherently dumb decisions but but when it comes down to it it is a funny tweet to have out there so good on Dorman for for making it and like I said I understand Johnny's side of things so let me know in the comments what you think about this and his decision to remove Dorman from his social media manager position like and subscribe to the channel follow me on TikTok at Break Hard Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog